give people an idea of what goes into four and block. Off about 5,000. Shimp it up like we did the other side. Pretty check it and see where we're at. It'll take a little more. But it's quite a nice. Within one, pretty good, over about a four inch diameter. Here's the cutting. All the security in there. Last hole, done. And that's boring a block. We'll get it set up on the home right here. Show you a homing procedure. Put a piece of aluminum tube just so it doesn't mar up the main journal. Move you all over here where you can see. back in it. Yep, got her backwards. Plate binder studs. Brushes, or shoes, just guiding the stones up and down the bore. Try to keep everything nice and straight. Get our stones here. Set up. Work with just shims, basically. Brass guide shoes. Shims are all numbered so you have a general idea of how much you're adding to it. There we go. All set up. Go back over here to the side we're honing. Check our depth for a stroke. Get this stuck down in there. Adjust the stroke. Want the shoes or the actual of the stone to come out of the bore about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. And that's pretty much setting it up.
crowd the sound a lot. Causes it a lot of extra heat even though there's oil and uneven wear. I like stones over diamonds. The diamonds work okay. But if I can take a piece of glass and run a diamond across it and it leaves a nice sharp cut groove and you take a stone and run across it and it scratches the glass but it's a little smoother scratch I guess there's pros and cons to either one. Uh, I've just had better luck with the stones. Heat rate is just a little bit too high. Slow that down just a little bit. Straight bore, which is good. When I was torquing up the deck plate, I went from the outside in, and I mentioned that I would tell you all uh, a little bit about that. The shop, I, first shop I worked at. Uh, it was a guy named Jimmy Nix. Used to be a top fuel drag racer. Raced back in the 60s and some early 70s stuff, run top fuel cars. A little bit of everything, I think, at one point in time. He's the one that told me that was the way when we were torquing heads up to torque them up was from the outside in. And it kind of goes against a lot of things you hear. Uh, I still do it today. Motors I assemble here. I start from the outside and work my way in and I've had good success with it people may think otherwise if you're having good success with whatever you're doing you just continue to do it so that's one thing there a little information might be handy for some people also I want to thank everybody if they watch Midwest Street Cars channel what I've been working on I'd like to thank everybody for all their comments and their help and I will post some updates as there's more developments on that. And thank you very much. Subscribe. I appreciate everything. And I'll keep putting out some videos. I appreciate it. Thank you.